Hey everybody, what's up? It's Rob Dodson. Welcome back to day two of the Chrome Dev Summit. I'm joined here by Jeffrey Posnick. Jeff is a member of the Chrome Developer Relations team. Uh, Jeff, you just gave a talk on service worker libraries, past, present, future, et cetera. Um, so for folks out there who haven't seen the talk yet, uh, what are what are some of the service worker tools that they can, they can use today? Sure. Um, so I spent some of my talk introducing or reintroducing two libraries, SW Free Cache and SW Toolbox. Um, so those libraries really help with a lot of production-ready scenarios that we see developers facing. Um, SW Precache is great for like taking all the static assets in your site and pre-caching them, versioning them properly, making sure the things you need for your application shell is always there. Um, SW Toolbox is great for your runtime strategies, so like large images that get cached as you go but aren't going to be pre-cached. Um, you know, you could use SW Toolbox for that, but the nice thing is it'll also handle your cache expiration. So if you have some big image that was used a month ago for an article page, you don't have to worry about that sticking around in your cache forever. So. And then you also touched on um, some, some future tools, like future direction for some of these libraries. Uh, and, and so uh, where are you thinking of heading with, with some of these things? Sure. So we have these existing tools. They're great. Um, but it's 2016. Some of these tools have been around for a couple of years. We thought, what would things look like if we were developing from scratch um, using the best practices that people follow today? And we're really trying to go to a more modular approach with our service worker libraries. Um, we want to publish things as like standalone modules that could be pulled in as like ES2015 imports and really have the same functionality. We don't want this to be a step backwards for folks. Um, we know there are a lot of people who use this in production and they're happy with it, but we wanted to make it so that if you wanted to just pick and choose little bits of the library to use, just, like, just use the cache expiration, um, we wanted that to work. And yeah, that's the general philosophy that we're taking. So it's pretty early on in the design stage. We've like pushed out really early alpha releases and we're really interested to see how people use it. So for folks out there who um, you know are, are interested in this and, and want to get rolling, what is one or you know one or two resources where they could get get started? Yeah, um, I think we'll hopefully have some links to these, but we have like a really great new landing page for all our production current service worker libraries, SW Precache, XW Toolbox. Uh, it's a great resource with a bunch of videos and documentation and articles there. And we're also really interested in collecting feedback from the developer community about the new stuff that we've been building. So there's like a GitHub issue that we've opened up um, where we're asking people to take a look at our proposals, take a look at some of what the samples would look like, and just give us feedback. Let us know what you think. Cool, awesome. Uh, so we can link to those down in the show notes. Uh, and if you haven't done so yet, definitely go check out Jeff's session. Uh, Jeff, thank you so much for, for being with us today. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for more content from day two of Chrome Dev Summit. See ya.